they've been completely inseparable since tying the knot in 2013. And Jamie Dornan looked more in love than ever as he joined wife Amelia Warner at the ISP's Hand a Charity Gold Contest in Birmingham on Friday. The 36-year-old actor could barely tear himself away from his singing beauty, 34, as they packed on the PDA throughout the 18 holes. Jamie looked ready to take on the course in his monochrome polo shirt and black slacks. Trudging around the course in fresh out-the-box trainers, the 50 Shades of Grey stud showed off his fierce golf swing as the actress looked on. Amelia followed suit with her sporty ensemble, pairing her white t-shirt and black gelée with form-fitting black leggings. Injecting a pop of color with orange-accented trainers, the Ian Flux star tucked her glossy chocolate locks back in a black baseball cap. Amelia opted for a fresh-faced makeup look as she pulled in her handsome bow for a quick smooch. The showbiz couple stayed close as they walked around the grounds, with Jamie sipping on a cold beer before jumping into a golf buggy. The couple have two children together, Dulcie, four and Elva, two. No doubt the couple were thrilled to have some time to themselves as Jamie is incredibly busy with his career, with five films in the pipeline. Jamie recently revealed his wife had never actually seen the famously saucy Fifty Shades of Grey franchise, despite being one of his best-known works. Speaking on the Ellen DeGeneres show last month, the Irish actor laughed, I don't want to pay for a ticket for her to like. You know. She then asked if it's hard to come home around Valentine's Day, which is when the Fifty Shades films are usually released, and have to live up to his Christian Grey character at home. Jamie said, I'd like to think she's more in love with me than that guy. I know she hasn't seen the movies or anything. Elsewhere, Zara Tyndall showed off her blossoming baby bump today as she joined her husband Mike at the charity golf day. The couple, who are expecting their second child in just a few weeks, looked blissfully loved up as they larked around at the contest, just hours before the royal wedding gets underway. Princess Anne's daughter, 37, and her rugby ace partner are expected to travel down to Windsor tonight before watching Harry and Meghan walk down the aisle in St. George's Chapel tomorrow. Dressed in a pair of novelty tiger print trousers, Mike appeared to be sporting a smattering of facial fuzz. It comes after Mike, 39, revealed his heavily pregnant wife had needed a few fittings to get into her wedding outfit ahead of the big day. During an interview with Magic FM, the former England captain, who is father to four-year-old Mia, joked about being snubbed from Harry's stag party and hinted that the nuptials would be a raucous affair, remarking, it is Harry after all. The golf enthusiast also revealed he is a massive Suits fan and tried to mess around with the seating plan to sit next to Meghan's stunning former co-star, Sarah Rafferty. Speaking in a separate interview to Good Morning Britain earlier this week, Tyndall offered advice to Meghan as the bride-to-be's mother meets the Queen today following a dramatic week. Tyndall knows from experience how daunting the first meeting can be, and revealed his own family were in a corner when they met for drinks the night before he married Zara, seven years ago. But praised the royals for welcoming them with open arms. Speaking this morning, he said, we had drinks before the wedding. My family were nervous as it was out of their comfort zones but the royals are professional meters and greeters. I think my family were in the corner a bit to begin with but the best thing about the royal family is they spot people who are looking nervous and go straight over to them and take that tension out of the room. The royal family welcomed them with open arms. Tyndall will be attending the wedding tomorrow with his wife but their child will stay home for the reception, he revealed. Regarding the amount of alcohol at the evening party he joked, I think we'll lead into it and see where it goes. Hopefully there will be plenty of it and we'll just get a feel for the room. You know how it is in a social situation you have to get a feel for the room. I am obviously very excited and very happy. It's a huge event, I think it will be fantastic and see how it goes and hopefully they have the day that they want, that's all you can ask for. The kids are staying at home, so we are free, we're off the leash, which is always nice. Asked whether he had spoken to Megan recently about how she was feeling, he said, I think Megan will be nervous but coming from her background but she is used to the spotlight, though not as much as what has gone on this week.
she's experienced enough to know how to deal with it. But all she can do is enjoy the day, it's a special day for them and that's all I can wish for them. Hopefully they will live happily ever after.